Hey, somebody! We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? My, my, would you look at this. But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't she be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary? Or an accommodating ditch? Make room, everyone. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to her? The wound looks nasty. Who did this to her? Demons, prelate. We found her barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. We'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard. Take her weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. She can get her things back after the festival. O oh, Inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal her wounds. Hear, hear! That's the Crusader spirit. My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendalev. You then. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gobbing and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendalev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. I'll get her! Terendalev! Has anyone seen Terendalev? Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. That's the first I've heard of that name. Who are you, then? What's your business in the city? My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor woman. She has been through enough already. Go on. I'll take care of her. <laughs> All right, as you wish. You are our protector, and a dragon at that, so I shall defer to your wisdom. But be on your guard. I've been informed she was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls. And the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday. But not you or I. Not the defenders of the city. Pry yeah. loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. There. I accept your thanks, but my work is not yet done. My name is Terendalev. I am the protector of the city. You don't believe me? Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. I do not know yet, and that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Certainly, but be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendalev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines.
Lord of Locusts, leave my city! found you outside the walls and brought you inside to be healed. I see they patched you up. Good thing they did it before the attack, or else you'd have been done for. You must have got a good drum around the head, friend. Discari's a demon lord. The most fearsome enemy of all crusaders and all living things, come to think of it. Who knows? Everything's on fire, crashing down around our ears. Places crawling with demons. Looks like a whole army attacked the city. We're sitting ducks! Right away. Stand still now. No fidgeting while I cast this on you. Good luck! Try not to get eaten now! Take that, Rockhead! A mortal gnat snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. Behold, Iomane. Behold the death I saw. The silver dragon, Terendeleb, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. got pretty lucky. You fell down into a black hole. But at least you're not on your own. You've got a great companion. Everything's going to be just fine. Tell me something. Can you feel your legs? I feel them all right. When say no to a little less feeling in them. My ankle's killing me. But my back seems to still be in one piece. My head, too. That's all that matters. Now, we're going to... Fancy meeting you down here. 
You're the one that Terendalev healed today, right? You aren't injured, are you? Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? Look at you! It's good to meet someone who uses brains first, and brawn second. Ugh, damn it all! I think it's broken. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. Thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. I'm Anevia Tiravade, of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that, I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Well, I'm Sila. Paladin by the grace of Iomade. I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendev and fight demons. And, well, I've been fighting for a while now. I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendalev, and of the Wardstone, too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's herald with the goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabras will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? Good to meet you. Now, tell us all about yourself. Whoa, girl. Slow down. Exchanging names is enough for now. We don't have time to be swapping life stories. We need to find a way out of here. Uh, now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way round. To summarize, there are three of us, with five working legs, three pairs of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters beware! <laughs> Anevia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward! May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon. Let's head out. Let us be careful. Who's there? Relax, friend. We're, we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing, all right? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila, that's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for a way back to the surface. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when... when... I can scarcely believe it. How did all those demons get into the city? I thought, naively it now seems, that the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev... I can't wrap my head around it. I can't argue with that. We're fortunate to be alive, albeit underground. Daskari himself has come to Canabras. 
There's no mistaking that ugly mug. Tarandalev tried to fight him, but what could she do against a near deity? Even the Wardstone was no help. Our city used to be protected by powerful forces, but now? <sighs> We've seen how powerless they truly are. Henceforth, we shall have no one but ourselves to rely on, I suppose. Who am I? Just an ordinary citizen who decided to take a stroll through the square on the day of the festival. But that's not what you wish to know, is it? You most likely wish to know whether I'll be a burden should you ask me to join your group. No need to worry about that. I can assure you that I am skilled with a rapier. And I also possess some knowledge of magic. Certainly. Survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves? I don't know. He must have been in the square when disaster struck. I tried to revive him, but he was already dead, sadly. He didn't get these wounds from the fall. Be on your guard. Whatever killed him likely hasn't gone far. Hang on. I think I know him. His name's Aravashniel, the egghead from the library. He was a good lad, even if he was kind of stuck up. May his soul rest in peace. That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack, only to perish under a pile of rubble. Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not to sound like a heartless brigand or nothing, but we kind of need all the supplies we can get right now. You can trust me. Magnesium Turinos! Tread lightly. They will break against our resolve. I'll cut you wide open! against our resolve.
road awaits. I'm gone. Follow my steps. We are the light! They are the darkness! Go for their hearts! We 
mission prepared. No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. When do I? Lan, did you find it? Who is that? The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait, they might know what's going on up there. If things are as bad as you say, then we all have to hurry. You didn't come from the direction of the shield mace. Damn it. I couldn't care less about what's happening on the surface but the maze. I realize that you guys have your own troubles, but we need to be in Canabres. People are dying up there. Please, show us the way out. This is the hall where we remember the glory of our forebears. Sorry about the mess. Uh, it doesn't usually look like this, trust me. Sometimes we even wipe the dust off the exhibits. This is where the relics of the First Crusaders are displayed. Our lives are short. Our glories are quickly forgotten. But this place helps us to remember that we are just as worthy as anyone else. And that our lives are not lived in vain. Huh, the First Crusaders? You've been down here that long? That's crazy. That's none of your bit. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sol, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the holy sword, we might be able to change the chief's mind. It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame, and will burn anyone who touches it. Do you think you're special, Lan? I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel's sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Yes. There are other ways up, but they are far from here. And after the earthquakes, there's a good chance they've collapsed. But the maze... There's a legend among our people that when the walls of the maze fall, that will be a signal for us, the underground crusaders. The time has come to go up to the surface and fight the demons in the final confrontation. <laughs> Until then, the people say the maze is shielding us from taking rash actions. I'm the only one in our whole tribe to have been in the maze. And even I don't know if it's true. But the further I went in the maze, the fresher the air became. That means that it really must lead to the surface. When the ceiling and walls started shaking, the young ones in our tribe lost their heads. They figured the maze was going to collapse, so it was time to go up to the surface. They grabbed whatever weapons were on hand and ran off toward the maze. They think the maze is no longer a danger to them. They've been listening to Wendwag too much. Don't try to blame this on me. Yes, I told them that our people are capable of making our way through the maze. In the future. 
But I always told them to wait until I had made a map of all the maze's dangers. I warned them a hundred times. But it was no use. My words just went in one ear and out the other. Tieflings are the descendants of people who sullied themselves by mating with demons. Our ancestors would never sink that low. We are the underground crusaders, the children of the crusade's finest. Sadly, underground crusaders is a bit of a mouthful, so people usually just call us mongrels. <laughs> You just love repeating that, don't you, Lan? Mongrels. That's what the Uplanders call us. But we call ourselves Neethers. No matter what you call us, it's not gonna stop our horns, hooves, or tails from growing. It came here with its owner a long time ago. 50,000 gongs, to be precise. Seventy years ago, in Uplander time. Fifty thousand gongs ago, our forebears found a dead angel here, along with the bodies of his comrades. The tribe gave them a dignified burial, and they were laid to rest with their weapons. But the flaming angelic sword was stuck in a rock, and no one was able to pull it out. It burned to the touch. Like real fire. So the rock was placed over the angel's grave. It should be here somewhere. Maybe the angel will dig himself out and find the sword for us. That might be our best shot in this chaos. Lan! Watch your tongue. Thanks. An extra pair of eyes can only help. The sword will be easy enough to spot. It looks, uh, swordy. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? What? You want to find the sword quickly so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. Something. What's that there? Completed. Now what is that? Something here. Let's head out. I found something. What's that there?
Hey, are you all right? You were kind of glowing just now. That, that was it. The light of heaven, but how? What did you do with it? Where did it go? L'Oreal? That really was L'Oreal? The angel from the legends. The ancestors even got his name right on the gravestone. The chief will be thrilled. You. Thousands of gongs, and no one's been able to touch it. And now you, an ordinary creature of flesh and blood no different to us, get the sword and start talking about visions. Now, now, Wendoag, don't be a sore loser. She is clearly different from us. The sword appeared before her, along with the angel's name and all that other stuff. Because she doesn't carry our mongrel taint. Heaven doesn't give a damn how special we are. We're born with evil inside us. Heaven doesn't need to know any more than that. I know you're willing to tear anyone apart to uphold our people's honor, but... You and Sul, you just refuse to face the truth. We are the way we are because our ancestors' bodies were corrupted by the Abyss. It does the same thing to plants and animals. There's nothing heroic or special about it. It doesn't make us better, and it doesn't make us worthier. That is just... Wow, I mean, that's amazing! Heaven has truly blessed you. This power is the most majestic thing I've ever seen in all my life. Is this what the sun is like, Lan? Yes, it's similar. But this light is more... golden? Chief Sol needs to see this. Now that we have the power of angels on our side, he can't say no. He'll have to assemble a troop to storm the maze. You Uplanders care about your kids, right? Help us save ours. Without them, we won't survive. And then... The perils of the maze won't be so bad if we go together. We'll make our way through it and find the way to Canabras. Let's go. We'll take the short route. Well, the only route, really. You can't hide from me. What do we have here? I hope you appreciate this. Watch each other. They'll beg me to stop!
you've crossed the wrong mongrel. Together we stand. The mongrel did it. Let us be careful. We are the light. They are the darkness. You are today's sacrifice! Make every strike count. No match for me. Something? I'm gone.
observe the others, learn from their mistakes, before they learn from yours. Rely on me. Doubt is the heart's greatest challenge. Follow my steps. Let's head out.
Let us be careful. Tread lightly. 